Well, hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Bill. Hey. And Pokey. <laughs> so today we have a problem with our table saw. That's the table saw there. And it's the motor down here. I'll show you in just a second. So we need to take that out and take it apart. Probably not going to be able to fix it, but we'll give it a try. So this is what it sounds like when we try to turn it on. Can you hear that hum? And it's not going around. So there's a couple of things, but we'll get into that in a minute. So let's take it apart. I showed you before. So I cleaned and cleaned and, and buffed out the um, the bearing surfaces. They were just a little stiff. Oiled it up. And so here we go. Just hopefully I don't pop the circuit breaker on this, but you'll see it go now. So watch the shaft over here. Scooch it over there so you can see it. Okay, here we go. And it's going. You see how much I had to hang onto it there? This one's got a lot of torque to it. There we go. All right, so time to put it back onto the uh, saw. So the other thing we're going to work on today is right down there where the saw blade goes. So here's the front of the saw over here. So the saw blade goes on that shaft. But that's been uh, a problem because the shaft wants to come out that way. Kind of works its way out. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out what the problem is. I've already loosened this up so it should slide right out. Nope. And there's the shaft. And it's got a bearing here, and there's a bearing inside there, which we can't see. But trust me, it's, there's another one down inside there. So what the issue is, let's take this over to the bench. What the issue is, is this little pin, or a, a retainer, uh, goes on to that slot right there. And that, I know it's going to be hard for you to follow this, but let me, let me try and walk you through it. When there's pressure on the blade this way, point, when it goes that way, like if I'm using that dado blade, the dado blade tends to push the blade out this way. And it pushes on, there's a bearing between, hang on here, get something to point with. There's a bearing that goes, that other bearing that's down inside there goes between these two here. So this whole shaft slides in, and this is where the bearing is. And then this pin, get the other one here, or retainer clip, should I say, goes onto that. So this clip right here is the only thing keeping this shaft right here, this shaft, from going that way. That that retainer clip had spread out a bit. Um, hard to say. But see how this, this clip has that big gap there? It's designed that way. But this clip needs to go on here and then be tight like that at the top. And it had spread out and it allowed the clip to then push out of the groove as that blade pushed on it and slide down the, the shaft here this whole thing would move out the saw blade as it was going would end up moving out 
it's all bad all bad so we've now squashed this clip so that it should hold better so we've squashed, squashed that clip so that those two ends are right next to one another and that when we slide this in i'll show you what that looks like when we put it all together this end has the pulley on it that goes down to the motor but we'll see that in just a second all right so now we're going to push this shaft back in i've already oiled this bearing up even though it's supposed to be a sealed bearing but it's it's one of the original bearings that was in this this table saw long long ago all right let's see if we can get that in there without dropping it that goes in there and through the other bearing okay and then we'll need to push that in see that bearing sticking out it needs to go in so let me get something to do that okay so i got a big pry bar here let's see if this will do it there we go yeah, good so that's all the way in there now now we're going to go down and look on the other side of this okay so there's the shaft that we were just working on right there you can see it and that there's a little groove if you can see it right there oops right there there's a little groove and that clip is what we're going to put onto that shaft and get onto that groove. So hopefully we can do this without bumping into each other here. So this this ring, I'm going to show you real quick, needs to be spread out just a little bit so that it makes this circle bigger so that I can get it on that shaft. So I've put it onto this paint can opener to try and put it in there. And I'm going to have to get in there, so I doubt you'll see much, but I'll try to do it while you're watching. Here we go. Nope, it slips off of there. So let me work on this while you're offline. And Mr. Bill, you're, you're helping there. No, don't drop it on me. Okay, we finally got it on there. Hopefully you can see that there's the clip. Let me zoom in a little bit, see if that'll do better. Let's see if you can see that clip in there. It's such a tight spot that it's hard to see. Well, it's there. <laughs> Hard to see. But... So now that shaft is good and solid. All right, and so there's the pulley back on with the key. You can see the key just barely sticking out there. And so that's all set. Now it's time to put the motor back on. All right, let's try it out and see how it sounds. So that's all fixed. That uh, a lot of noise there, that's growly noise. I should have replaced the bearings in here, which I may put on the list to do, but I might have to sort out getting bearings that'll fit in that spot. So I'll, I'll look into that, but for right now, it's working. So hooray, we're all done. Thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. What do you have to say about that, guys? Yeah, like and subscribe. See y'all later. Bye.